All right, Patch, let's check out your second run here in the stubbies. Nice adjustment from the first run. Um, really made some good improvements. Let's check it out in uh, fast motion, and uh, regular motion, I mean, and then uh, slow it down. Yeah, well, it almost looks like fast motion because you were carrying some good speed in there. That's a good job. Um, came through up in here into the flush, and we did a good job getting direction coming out. Kind of ran out a little too straight, so just a little bit off the off the stubby, making your turn below. Uh, I think I'm a little too straight at it. Nice looking turn there, All right? Rolled them up, and here you can see that you really have the intersecting rise line with your skis pointing kind of out and away from the pole, so we can bring some shape back and have direction done as we pass it. I think the stubby is now laid down, it broke, so it's laying down and really where the track was, you had to go way around it. And it made it kind of difficult. And... But we did have the undergate to recover here. We should have recovered better and brought a little more uh, completion and shape such that we were going a little more, a little higher as opposed to down here. It wasn't bad, but didn't give yourself still enough room in the rise line above the stubby to get the turn done on the stubby. We would like, I want to see you right in that position, right up in here. So that set you off on a low line to this guy, which you can see you're hitting the stubby with really no direction done. Um, and your skis are going this way, and we would want to to be going this way towards the next apex area. Apex being really where the most turn, uh, direction of turn occurs. So really where you're, you know, where you're turning, not necessarily at the next gate, but where you want to turn. And typically it's above the pole. A little better job here. You got a little bit of a move there. We talked about how you want to need to bring the hips forward in the transition. A um, little better, but we got to get those hands up through the transition. Really use them to help you get forward. They're kind of at your sides. Nice position there with the hands. I like that, but no reason to drop them. You should be using them to help you push them forward. They'll get you forward. But because you did a slightly better job of getting a little bit more forward, you carved a little better, but still when then went really direct, went straight at this thing. And it turns down here. All right, so you have like a J shape. You're going straight at it. Remember, we, you know, the objective is not necessarily to go hit the stubby and then turn. You've got to turn above. So, you know, if the gate is here, if the gate's there, you know, what you did was come in really straight at it, try to hit it, and, and to be like this J shape with your your apex was down here. Now, we're looking to have comma-shaped, typically. So, you know, we want to come in here and, and intersect rise line with the skis pointing out in a way to bring a little more shape back. And our apex is going to be above the panel or above the pole. So, let's try to bring our line up a little bit and be above... The pole and because you went straight in here you were late and low we want to be in that position you know up here tight to the tight to the stubby so because you ran the low line you're kind of wide there but kind of got it back here but again you got that tight left footer tight to the feet and then it widens out on the right and then goes tight again so Let's keep thinking about that. But anyway, good first day. Great skiing. Nice adjustment on the second run, which is awesome. Love to see you making improvements like that.
Let's think about getting a consistent width through every transition and turn, turn, especially those left footers, right? Let's start making sure we're moving forward through the transition, both with our hands and our hips. We want to get the hips over the boots at the top of the next turn. And we need to work on our line a little bit, making sure we give enough space above in the rise line, not going straight at it and bringing shape back to the pole. But good job. Good job. First NSWs. And uh, we'll do it again this weekend.